But of course, not everyone returned. Millions paid the ultimate price, laying down their lives for the love of others. People like Lieutenant George F. Morrison of the 7th Battalion of the Royal Highlanders. Serving in North Africa, George would write home once a week. But in October 1942, he sat down to pen what would be the last letter his mum would ever receive from her beloved son. I am writing this letter to you in case I become a casualty in this action I am entertaining now. It may be that I will be killed, and if so, then I have left instructions that this letter will be sent on to you. You are the sort of person who can stand these things better than most people, and I know you'd like to hear from me. And so I am writing this last letter to be posted only if I am killed. You have always been the best of mothers to me, and I know no other woman who could be so kind, so sympathetic, and so forbearing to her children. Since reaching mature years, I've tried to make up to you for all the trouble you must have had when I was smaller. My family is the best ever, and I know you'll all go on and keep the colors flying, even though I'm not there to bother you anymore by phone calls from obscure spots or mad crazes after motorbikes or any of the things which afflict normal youth. This is a queer letter to write, because I'll be dead then. And if you get it, I feel excessively cheery and optimistic right now. And this death business doesn't worry me in the least. So if I do get one, don't be too sad. It's too late to be sad, and I wouldn't like it. If you would just get the organist to play Handel's Largo in my memory in the kirk one Sunday morning, then that's as far as you should grieve for me. So don't be sad, please. Remember, this war is being fought to protect folk like you from horrible things. And it's only right that some should have the privilege, yes, the privilege, to give themselves for the cause of good and the right. I'm still firmly convinced that it won't be me, but just in case it is, then you can have this letter to tell you that I went out to die as cheery as a cricket, with a song in my mouth and my chanter in my small pack and a couple of grenades in my pockets. As to all my stuff here, it will probably be sold and the proceeds sent you. My stuff at home give to anyone who needs it, young Leighton or George Massey, and my clothes to the McLagans or any other needy person. For my family, I leave you my blessing, and may God protect and help you through the hard times, and give you strength as he does for me now as I write this. And so, Nonny, for the last time, goodbye, and keep that old chin up just as well as ever. God bless you always, my dearest mother, your loving son, George.